What's up everybody, Stoner here from AudioExtasyProductions.com. Today, I wanna to talk about why you should be using your clip-on tuners, not just live, but in the studio as well. Let's check it out. Okay, so I was really hesitant at first to try clip-on tuners. I don't know why, I guess I just sort of thought that there was no way that it could be as accurate as something like a pedal tuner or something that's in the chain that reads the signal electronically. Um, but I was really pleasantly surprised. I was at a show one day and I didn't have a tuner for my acoustics, so uh, somebody let me borrow their Snark, which is what I've been using, but there's a lot of different brands out there that make really great stuff. And I was so, so surprised at how accurate the tuning was that I went, I took it into the studio the next day. And I really like recording guitar with as little in the signal chain as possible. So, for example, if I'm recording a rhythm guitar part, I basically just want it to be my guitar and my amp. Now, I used to record with a pedal tuner in the chain, so it just went guitar, pedal tuner, amp. Um, but I found that the buffered bypass on my Boss tuner was really weighing the sound down. It sort of, it was blanketing the highs and I feel like it was really affecting the response of the amp. So I tried this and just went guitar to amp with the Snark for tuning and it, it was awesome. And I, ha I cannot recommend these enough. If you're hesitant, if you think that the technology is not there, it is. And these guys are cheap. I think this Snark was like 14 or 15 bucks, but like I said, there's a ton of brands out there that make really, really great stuff. I should also mention that uh, all the clip-on tuners that I've tried handle alternate tunings and down tunings really, really well. They're really versatile and really accurate no matter what tuning standard you're using. I'm Stoner with AudioExtasyProductions.com.